Reddit is an interesting place. With an estimated 430 million active Reddit users a month, there's guaranteed to be some weirdos and freaks on this site. For every kind and wholesome post you see, you see about a half a dozen creeps, freaks, weirdos, degenerates, and downright disgusting and evil scum that exist on the site. And we're here to talk about the dark side of Reddit. And here's a list of some of the most disturbing and controversial subreddits to ever graze this website. God help us all, things are going to be bad. This was a downright awful and disgusting subreddit. This community has people of all different kinds. Big, small, short, tall, light skin, dark skin, Asian, black, white. They're all united on one front. They hate, and I mean hate, women. But what exactly is an incel though? An incel, according to the dictionary, is a member of an online community of young men who consider themselves unable to attract women sexually typically associated with views that are hostile towards women and men who are sexually active. AKA, I can't get no play because I'm not attractive, nor do I have money, so I'm just gonna blame everybody else. The term incel would be coined after Elliot Roger would go on a rampage and massacre multiple people in the Isla Vista, California area near the University of Santa Barbara. May every single victim rest in peace. Despite being born into a family of privilege, Elliot Roger would struggle socially when growing up. And when you combine an inability to socialize, narcissism, and resentment, you have a recipe for disaster. This was someone who deluded himself into believing that he was as close to perfect if not as perfect as possible, when in reality he's the furthest thing from. Due to his increasing resentment towards women and his inability to socialize becoming worse and worse, he would go out and decide to do the deed. On the evening of May 23rd, 2014, Elliot Roger would go out and commit a massacre which would leave 7 people no longer living and 14 people injured. He would also take his own life. Disgustingly on this subreddit, he would even be praised by some people. And you would think that that would be a troll, right? But with a world like this, with how many people exist, these kind of people are very, very real. They look at anybody who's considered mostly or even somewhat attractive as chads. After a reddit thread that was made that described the violent castration of another user's roommate on November 7th, 2017, r incels was banned. As the disgusting twin of r jailbait, r creepshots is another disgusting subreddit that existed on the internet at one point, created by the infamous reddit troll Violent Akrez. This disgusting subreddit revolved around the simple concept of taking photos of women without their consent in compromising positions. Starting to see why obviously this one's controversial, right? Now look, photography is a beautiful, and I mean beautiful, art form. It can express emotions and feelings that simply talking just can't. So many different emotions and feelings and complex ideologies can be found in just one simple photo. But taking photos of women without their consent is obviously creepy. It's disgusting. Why would anybody, and I mean anybody with a rational mind, even attempt to do something like this? Do not be surprised if the cops get called on you if you ever attempt doing this. It's safe to say, don't do this. Please do not do this. In fact, the creator of both r slash jailbait and r slash creepshots, Violent Akrez, would be exposed in a gawker expose and his identity would be revealed, which would result in him being fired from his job. It aired all over CNN back in 2012, and the subreddit was banned on October 11th, 2012. r slash watch people die was a subreddit just dedicated to gore. Some of the most downright appalling and disturbing things came from this subreddit. Shootings, stabbings, unalivings, accidents, whatever you could think of, it was most likely here. The average person finds gore absolutely appalling, and it's understandable. I mean, watching and listening to someone take their final breaths after experiencing an absolutely horrific experience is something that's not on the top 10 of things that they actually want to watch, you know? The physical, the mental, and the auditory components of all of these different videos is enough to give somebody a world's length of trauma. And I'm pretty sure plenty of kids within our generation who are now adults or teenagers have 
probably stumbled across one of these sites before and have gotten traumatized. The decline of shock sites is almost an inevitability. The selling point is the brutal nature of mankind. And that's it. Mark Merrick, the owner of Bestcore.com, in a 2017 GQ interview would reveal that it cost more money to run the site than he was earning, stating that there were no public advertisers that wanted to advertise a product like this. No shit. LiveLeak's fate, however, would be slightly different. Due to numerous controversies over the years, it would lead to the site eventually closing down and being rebranded into a video sharing site called ItemFix. On March 15th, 2019, the subreddit would be banned after the New Zealand mosque shooting footage would be uploaded to the site. r slash regretful parents is a subreddit dedicated to people who became parents but believe that they never should have become parents. This particular subreddit gets to me. I'm not saying that the other ones don't, but this one really gets to me. Children never ask to be here. When they're here, we give them love, understanding, affection, and protection. It's our moral obligation as people who brought these children into the world is to take care of them. They deserve the absolute best. The people I feel the worst for in these situations are the children because they never asked to be here and now they're born to parents that either hate each other and in turn hate them or they hate the fact that they exist because it changed their lives for the, what they like to say, the worst. If you don't want kids, that's okay folks. Don't let anything that was just said make you feel bad for not wanting them. Children are a massive responsibility and some people just can't handle that kind of a responsibility. And that's okay. Whether it's the fact that they don't like kids or they love kids but are not really inclined to have any of their own or they just have a lifestyle that just wouldn't fit kids in there. I want you to know that your decision is perfectly valid no matter what it is. If you know for sure, for 100% fact that you don't want kids of your own, go get a vasectomy, go get a tubal litigation, do whatever you need to do to sterilize yourselves, go out there and live your life child free, however you choose to live it. The darkest part about this entire subreddit is this overwhelming sense of sadness and there are so many different stories here where we have people who didn't want kids having kids and now they absolutely hate their lives as a result of how many changes that come from having a child or children. A lot of the underlying issues within these subreddits stem from, you guessed it, childhood and the other part of this subreddit's name, parents. They're the root of nearly everything. And to me, this is why this subreddit is one of the worst subreddits on the site. It's not particularly horrific, but the idea that you could be hated by your parents, and sometimes these children don't even know it, is an all too disturbing and awful reality to deal with. And I can only imagine what these children are gonna have to deal with once they become adults.